Okay, so I have mine in shade 05 Vanilla, and this is the packaging right here. It is in a glass bottle, and I bought mine... Should I see? I did my nails. <laughs> um, I bought mine at Walmart, I believe, and I think it was... I think nine dollars or it was below ten dollars like always I already moisturized my face and I already have my um, pour, uh, Putty poreless primer by elf. That's kind of like what I do with my foundation reviews because obviously I want to test it out Wearing and just prepping my skin how I would always prep it That's how I would know if I like the foundation at the end of the day and if I would were to recommend it Again, I do have oily skin. I will link down below kind of like my latest like um, foundation first impression reviews. Like twisting it has a pump. So it does come with a pump and I'm just gonna pour a little bit on my little, it is really thick actually. I thought it was gonna be a little bit liquidy and I am getting a, hit, a little bit of a late start to my filming date. It's almost 1 p.m. So if you guys saw my last video, I did fall and like kind of like bruised my tailbone and I had trouble like not walking but like sitting and like standing up it hurt really really bad and today like I was I'm on that time of my you know time of the month and it was just a struggle to wake up today excuse the alarms the everything that's going on outside <laughs> I'm on the website it says why you love it um, Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation Visible improves the look of your skin, giving you a natural looking glow you'll never want to take off. This lightweight foundation formulated with hyaluronic acid and collagen hydrates and smooths skin while delivering a medium coverage foundation, finishing for the look of plump skin. Again, I do have um, oily skin. My skin gets oily, more oily than normal, like normal skin, and so. You know, like those, I mean, I am gonna set my face. Benefits, get ready to face with the city with radiance. Experience a medium coverage foundation finish your skin will that you'll never take off. Delivering up to 12 hours of hydration. This new formula comes in 20 different shades and provides smooth and even looking skin. It's perfect foundation for dry skin. So we'll see if it's not perfect, but we'll see how it wears on oily skin. Assuming it didn't, I actually forgot. So I'm gonna dot this I think it's gonna be a little bit too light. As a first impression with the first layer and not applying more, I definitely see it right away as a light coverage. Um, I can still see a lot of my redness right here. Like it barely covered that. Okay, that's a little better, but I still I'm gonna send you guys in more. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, definitely too light for my skin tone, but I definitely still see a lot of my a lot of my imperfections down here and the redness, like it's not covering it at all. As a first impression, I do see that this is definitely, at least on my skin, it doesn't look like medium coverage on the first layer I had to like layer it on a second I had to put on a second layer so that it looked a little bit more coverage I don't know if you guys can see it right here it looks a little bit cakey already and I use my um, I used my everyday um, moisturizer this is the ultra bear cream intense hydration by um, first day beauty and even though I've been trying other like um, luminous and like glowy foundations and they haven't looked this way so I look crazy please ignore that because it is way too light um, but still like I don't get why it looks this cakey I don't understand impression it already looks really cakey on my skin and I don't understand why I did moisturize my face please excuse my like it's extremely too light for my skin tone okay so apart from it being too light for my skin tone like that is okay but I can't I don't understand why it looks already really really cakey right here on my cheek area and like my skin looks so dry and I don't get it. I, I don't get why it looks dry. 
if I don't have dry skin and I use like a super intense um, like moisturizer so I don't I'm a bit confused as to why why it looks this like cakey on me I don't understand so as a first impression I'm not you know I'm not liking it I'm gonna go ahead and like finish the rest of my face uh, powder this because I'm already like ugh, I already want to take this off but we're gonna power through and we're gonna see how this looks at the end so I'm gonna be right back with my full face so it is currently 117 I just finished my whole face and I'm about to film one other video and I mean everything blended well it looks well on camera um in person actually it looks it doesn't look as cakey as it looked before uh my under eye once i put up the concealer and set that my under eye looks really good yeah i mean as of right now everything's set it does look good my um my forehead looks a little bit a little bit um dry and like cakey right here which i again i don't understand if i have like oily skin Maybe I have like a dry patch up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go and do my errands and then I'll see you guys later uh, to see how this foundation held up throughout the day. I believe it's almost 11 p.m. I'm just finished editing my video for tomorrow and it's actually um, mascara review comparison. Um, so that should be already up before this. But I wanted to come in here before I actually um, go and take off this mascara, not mascara, this makeup, also the mascara, but um, I'm a little bit exhausted, if you guys can tell, and these lights are like burning my eyes, but I wanted to give you guys obviously the end of the day update, and my cheeks look really good, um, I don't know how to describe it, like they look very glowy, you can definitely still see my blush, um, a little bit of my contour, um, obviously I ate today and um, I'm gonna zoom you guys in a bit so you guys can let you see my nose it's already like gone from my nose but I had allergies today so I was kind of like rubbing my nose a little bit um I know you guys can see that I don't know what happened right here it has to do more with my concealer I'm guessing and kind of the powder um, my highlight you can still see it a little bit in person um, and then I, I went like this and accidentally rubbed off a little bit of the, of the foundation right on my nose. Um, but overall, I mean, although the color was awful for me, I don't even know why I bought that shade. I'm gonna probably gonna give it to my mom or something. Um, but like, I really like how it looks now. Um, at the beginning, it looked really cakey and I have no idea why. After I did set it and everything, um, it looked fine. Uh, as you guys can see, my cheeks look nice um if i were to like powder this let's let's try it i'm thinking that if i powder this it's gonna be a little bit it's gonna look a little bit cakey i have none on my um cheek i have none on my chin um because obviously i ate but i mean i'm pretty sure that if i powder this like look my chin looks perfectly fine and then i can just put a little bit on my nose I feel like I feel like it I feel like it wore off well throughout the day although like I was outside I went to run some errands I went to buy some groceries so I was, I was outside um it's a little cakey right around here but I feel like overall I mean it had a good run for the day I would just need to get like a new shade because that shade did not match me at all not sure if i filmed an outro for this video i cannot remember uh but that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the little button down there if there's any foundation that you guys would like me to try it please leave it down in the comment section and until then i'll see you guys in my next one bye